I propose to discuss with you the cost of the New Deal. On March 4th, 1933, when the present administration came into office, the gross public debt of the United States stood at a little less than $21 billion. By June 30th of this year, it had increased to $27 billion, or an increase of about $6 billion. This is the gross increase in the national debt during the first year and four months of the new administration. Some observers have concluded that it also represents the cost of the New Deal during that period. In so far, such cost is reflected in a growth of the public debt. This assumption is easily made, but it ignores the all-important fact that while we've increased our debt, we have also increased our assets, many of them in realizable form. We begin with the Treasury's cash balance. When this administration came into office, the Treasury's cash balance amounted to about $200 million. By June 30th, 1934, this cash balance had risen to nearly $1,800,000,000, an increase of about $1,600,000,000. I am glad to have had this opportunity to report to you on the Treasury's affairs. It is our purpose that you shall always have access to accurate, full, and up-to-date accounts of the financial position of the government. 